guys welcome to glam squad magazine if you are tuning into this channel for the first time you are very welcome happy new month to you as well though it is a very sad one already as we begin the month of november with the sad story of david Doe losing his son if i just when things are going on smoothly between himself and Chioma. May God rest the soul of Ifaim. And our prayers are with David Doe and Chef Chi. So many people have been wondering how Ifaim died. Some are wondering, was he swimming with his mom? Was he swimming with his dad? In fact, we have seen videos circulating online giving wrong impression that if i died while swimming with his dad which is not true on this channel today you'll be seeing the true story of how if i died stay tuned welcome back to glam squad magazine so here is a twitter user his name is dr pen king on twitter he tweeted about how a certain prophet samuel king prophesied about the death of ifai i also saw a post of davido's foster brother blaming um the family for not taking the prophecy over if i is that serious oh my god so they have seen it before but they just took that prophecy for granted so many people have been saying it even under the tweet of the dr pen king there are so many twitter users saying something about how the prophecy about if i is that came about once again may if i in soul rest in peace so how did if i in died let's move so this same man on twitter also tweeted the whole story about how if i in died so the story is that davido and chioma traveled for a family gathering in Ibadan. In fact, we've been seeing the videos of Davido and Chioma together at the party, you know, doing all lobby, not knowing that their son is not in good hands. It is really, really so sad. So, let's just move to the story of how Ifai died. During Davido and Chioma's trip to Ibadan, if I was left in the care of his nannies, it was said that if I wandered off to the pool by himself where he drowned and remained inside the water for a very long time before the nannies or anybody noticed his absence, that was when they knew that who oh, where's if I where's if I apparently he was found in the pool drowned. Then he was rushed to Evergreen, that is Lagoon Hospital, where he was pronounced brought in death. That is, the baby has died in, even before he got to the hospital. Mm. This is a very sad story. So Dr. Pink King is now saying that what baffled him most is how the dom is how the domestic staff were so quick and bold to leak the information without even waiting for his parents. I'm sure you would also notice that when the news came out yesterday, they were trying to say that he's still alive. We really do not know what transpired between that time when he was brought in dead and when it was announced that if I died and when the people were asked to delete that tweet and that there is a source or a legit information that if I is still alive until this morning when everybody woke up to the bad news that if I is dead. Most celebrities last night were actually bullied 
to delay their tweets. Enola Badmos was one of the first celebrities to post the sad story, followed by some of the videos. Um, colleagues, then most celebrities, the BB Niger housemates started posting. Then everyone was asked to delete their tweets until this morning. Should we talk about how the nannies has failed to carry out their duty diligently, just like what Dr. Penking has tweeted? I also really think that they should be taken in for questioning we need to know what they were doing at the time when if i was wondering all about until he drowned himself in the pool and he was left there for a very long time i'm sure if somebody was around at that time when the poor boy drowned himself he could have been helped and probably saved it is really, really sad to think that this beautiful boy, if I died due to negligence, it is really sad for us to even think that his parents were out thinking their son is in safe hands, not knowing that if I was left all alone, wondering and wandering until he wandered off into the pool until he drowned. It is a very sensitive period right now for everybody as everyone, both celebrities and non-celebrities, influencers and non-influencers has been talking and praying for David Dole. That guy really, really needs prayer. If you love David Dole, what you want to do for him right now is pray for him. I also love the way the celebrities are showing him love online, posting about him. It is blue tick everywhere on the social media. People talking about him and his son. People praying for him and sending their condolences to the video and his family. It is all love and light on the social media, except. Except from some people who has turned the story into another thing, they have turned it into the blame card. Some people are blaming David o right now, some are blaming Chema, others are blaming the nannies. But one thing for sure and that is evident is that both Chema and David o were good parents to Ifai. David o was an exceptional well, dad. Some folks are looking for whom to blame over if I use that. Some other folks folks remembered how the band lost his child in the same circumstance. Some Twitter users who do not think that this would be a sensitive one for the band did not cease to remind him of how he lost his son in the same way. This Twitter user said, The band's son drowned in a swimming pool. David o lost his only son if I drowned in a swimming pool. If you have a toddler, you don't need a swimming pool in your house. Although this is a nice advice, but why is he bringing the band's son into it? What if the band has been the trying death to of forget? His son? Distinguished Everest also laid his own opinion. He said he pity celebrities because it is not an easy life. That even in your worst moment, you would get to see things that would break you deeper. News get out without giving you time to react. The band will see the pain he has been trying to forget because people will remind it happened to him first. Yes, so that is what we are trying to say that although you are trying to give out good advice, but you do not care about what the bunch would be feeling. Not just this Twitter user, so many other Twitter users and internet users has used Ifai's death in reminding the bunch that his son died the same way.
sometimes people tend to forget that celebrities are only human too they have feelings and blood running through their veins amidst the sad news today the highlight for today is whisked whisked deletes album promotion tweet as other celebrities sympathize with the video yes that is one of the biggest news today whisked deleted his tweet about his album coming up this week before the news about if i is that whisked tweeted about his album coming up this month but immediately after the news about if i is that the big whiz himself deleted his tweets in honor of the late if i this is actually a surprise to people because it seems the relationship between the video and whiskey is sore so it is less ego more love from whiskey in all you do this week please put it in your heart to pray for the video and chef chi and also in all your banters do not forget that celebrities are humans like you they have feelings and they have blood running in their veins that is going to be all on today's episode thank you for watching please like and subscribe share with your friends do not forget to put on the notification bell as well please follow us on all our pages on social media facebook twitter and instagram glam squad magazine thank you bye